motion in a straight line. Now let's understand all the important terms related to understand what is meant by motion in a straight line. The motion of a body can be described in terms of the following physical quantities. Whenever a body moves, that means it changes its position with respect to time. Then the motion is described or best explained or understood with the help of these five terms related to motion. They are the distance or the path length covered by the particle, displacement of the particle, speed of the particle, velocity of the particle, acceleration, acceleration of the particle. What is the meaning of the particle? Particle means it's a small, it's a, a quantity having a very small size. See for example, if the distance covered by a body is very small compared to its size, the size is very small compared to the distance it has travelled. It has travelled thousands of kilometers and its size is very small. Then we call, we refer to such bodies as particle. Okay, now let's know what is meant by distance or path length. As the name itself indicates, the distance is the length of the path. path. A body travels from A to B. Now here, here, there is 5 centimeters. This is 7 centimeters, this is 7 centimeters, 4 centimeters, then again 10 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters. Then 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 4, you add up all this, then you get dash centimeters. That is the distance. Here you see that the particle is moving without any sense of direction. It is taking so many turns there. So, whenever a, a particle moves, without any sense of direction, then the total path length is called distance. Now displacement is the distance covered by a particle with a sense of direction. Here the particle did not move in different directions. It moved only in one direction, that is A to B. Now the distance covered is called displacement. Now this is speed, there is no sense of direction. Therefore, this is a scalar quantity and there is a definite sense of direction for displacement. Therefore, displacement is a vector quantity. Now, speed. How can you define speed? What is the formula for speed? Speed is path length divided by time. Time taken to cover that path length. Say here, you add up all this. Supposing, let's say 49. I am just writing some figure. When you add up all these numbers, you get 49. And this 49 centimeters is covered in 6 seconds. Then 49 centimeters divided by 6 seconds. Now, whatever the ratio, whatever the number after division, dividing 49 by 6, you get is called speed. In speed, we have different types of speeds. One is uniform speed. What is meant by uniform speed? If a particle covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. In equal intervals of time. See here, the words equal have come for both distance and time. It covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. For example, it covers 60 centimeters in first 10 seconds, same 60 centimeters in the next 10 seconds, same 60 centimeters, it travelled only 60 centimeters in the next 10 seconds, it is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time, then the speed is said to be uniform speed. Now, if the particle do not cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. Let's say in the first 10 seconds it covered 60 centimeters in the first 10 seconds. In the next 10 seconds of motion it covered 90 centimeters. In the next 10 seconds it travelled only 40 centimeters in the next 10 seconds. In the next 10 seconds it is travelling only 25 centimeters in the next 10 seconds. Here you see that in equal intervals of time the particle is covering unequal distances. 
then such a speed is called non uniform speed or variable speed so how do you remember the definition of uniform speed non uniform speed or variable speed uniform speed is if a particle goes equal distance in equal intervals non uniform speed or variable speed is if a particle do not cover equal distance in equal intervals of time then the speed is said to be variable speed now there is uh, one more uh, two more types of speeds it is average speed and instantaneous speed instantaneous speed now what is meant by average speed what is the definition of speed path length divided by time taken you just add average speed speed average to get average speed you just add the word total total path length divided by total time taken total time taken if you just add the word remember you just add the word total for path length and also for time taken then you are going to get average speed but average speed cannot tell us how fast or it, with what speed a body is moving at a particular instant say when a, for example when the body came here what was its speed you cannot get the speed at this point with the help of this formula average speed so we define instantaneous speed the instantaneous speed as the name itself indicates the speed of a particle at any instant of time now instantaneous speed is given by a formula called dx by dt now what is dx dx is a very small distance that it travel during that instant and to travel that instant a particle has taken a small time dt now take the ratio of dx by dt to get instantaneous speed so as far as speed is concerned the speed is path length by time taken there are four types of speed average speed variable speed sorry first one is uniform speed variable speed average speed and instantaneous speed average speed is total path length by total time taken and instantaneous speed is given by the formula dx by dt where dx is the small distance covered at that is instant to and the time taken to cover that distance is very small it is denoted by dt okay now we also have the next quantity physical quantity to describe motion it is velocity as you all know velocity is rate of change of displacement rate of change of displacement note that speed is the ratio of distance to time whereas velocity is the ratio of displacement to time how do you define velocity of a particle it is the rate of change of displacement of the particle or displacement by time taken now again there are four types of velocity uniform velocity if a particle covers if a particle undergoes equal displacement equal displacement in equal intervals of time okay then this is uniform velocity non uniform velocity if it is undergoing displacement unequal displacement unequal displacement in equal intervals of time then this is non uniform velocity or variable velocity then you have average velocity 
average velocity. To get average velocity, just add to the total displacement over total time taken. Average velocity is not sufficient to describe or to find out the displacement at any instant. So we have a velocity called as instantaneous velocity. Now what is instantaneous velocity? Supposing a particle displaced, get displaced from A to B. Now I want to find out the velocity at this distance. Take a very small distance, dx, and to cover this small distance, time taken is d, dt. Now the ratio of dx by dt gives instantaneous velocity, or v instantaneous is equal to dx by dt. So again in velocity, we have four types of velocities. Velocity is nothing but displacement by time or rate of change of displacement. The first type is uniform velocity. If a particle covers, undergoes equal displacement in equal intervals of time. Non-uniform velocity or variable velocity. If a particle undergoes unequal displacement in equal intervals of time or equal displacement in unequal intervals of time. However it is, it is non-uniform velocity. Average velocity, just add your total to the definition of displacement. Average velocity is not just sufficient to find out or to predict the velocity at any instant. For example, if the particle moves from A to B, I want to know what is the velocity at this position. For that, I take a small distance, dx, and the ratio of dx to dt, dt is the small time required to cover distance dx. That is instantaneous velocity. Okay. Now the last parameter required to describe the motion is acceleration. Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. So how do you get acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but velocity divided by time. Velocity divided by time. Average uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration, non-uniform acceleration, instantaneous acceleration can be referred to a particle in motion as we have referred to speed and velocity. Okay.